Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to check out the new Poi that I got from ultrapoi.com. The first set that I'll take a look at will be the Helix Poi with the knob handles and then I've got the lighted inserts to turn them into ultra knobs too. After that I'm going to bust out the double Helix Poi. So let me go ahead and stick some AAA batteries into these lights and show you how the buttons work. All you need to do is pull down the tab on the battery compartment and pry it out to stick in a AAA battery. There are two different lights, one on each side of the Poi, and each light is controlled by its own button. To turn the Poi on, you simply click on that button once. Now, to change the modes, you simply click the button once again. You cycle through the different modes. Now, to change the options within that mode, you hold down the buttons and it will begin to cycle through the different options. Now to turn the light off, all you're going to do is hold the buttons down until it goes off and let it go. Remember, each light is independent from each other, so have fun exploring all the different color combinations. As far as the lighted inserts for the knobs go, you simply yank out the clear plastic battery tab that comes inside of them and you charge them via the little USB port right here when you need to. And how these work is, you stick them in the ball like this here, you just fit in there and you click them once to change the modes and you hold the button down to change the strobing pattern and to turn them off you simply hold the button down until they go off. To stick it in the case make sure that the square end of the poi or the flat end of the poi is pointed down into the case and you'll want to turn the poi inside the case like this so that you can easily press the buttons while it's inside the case. You'll get a feel for it, but there's some slightly raised bumps on each side of the case itself that will help you find the button for the light. Since they come pre-configured, all you have to do is find your desired length by pulling the required amount of rope through the ring here at the top. And for some people, this means having the poi about an inch or two above the ground when held down by your side. For others, it's whatever length is required to not hit yourself in the face while doing a buzz saw. And when you're done, you simply tie a knot like this and cut it. I like to leave myself a little extra rope here just past the knot because what I like to do is burn off the excess rope and then flatten out the melted part just a bit. And the same process can be done whether you got the helix poi or the double helix poi. The Helix Poi from UltraPoi.com now come with the little silicone knobs by default. And let me tell you, they feel great. They're super comfortable to grip and they're actually already set up to accept the little lighted inserts, so upgrading them is super easy. Also, the knobs add just the right amount of weight for those throwing moves and uh, I just really like how these feel to spin. All the modes are super bright. It's awesome trying to decide which ones to spin with and what colors to go with. The double helix poi have a super unique feel to them because being able to spin the poi and then switch to the other side of the poi in mid trick or mid routine is really something cool to do and you could spend hours coming up with different color combinations. Lastly, the swivels make orbitals really nice with these poi. So if you're looking for a set of poi that take no time to get set up and look amazing, check out the Helix Poi or the Double Helix Poi from ultrapoi.com. And while you're at it, grab a set of the lighted inserts for the knobs. You're gonna love them. Thanks for watching the video, everybody, and happy spinning.